Alright guys, Jeffrey here with a very special episode of Auto Alchemy. Today I'm going to be playing one of my all-time favorite games. As you can see here, it's called Spelunky. You can probably take a guess at the concept and figure out what we're getting into. The reason... well, let me put it this way. You might be wondering why I'm playing this game on my channel. You might be wondering what this has to do with self-development, and you're one smart cookie for asking those questions because I'm not entirely sure, but I haven't been having a lot of fun lately, like deliberate fun, and I feel like that should be a part of the uh, balanced diet, you know? So I'm going to be here to show you guys how to have fun. I am a robot. This is how we have fun. I'll also be walking you through some of my favorite things about this game uh, in the hopes that I can sp I can spread a little uh, Spelunky love, especially before the sequel comes out, and I want you guys all to buy it. I'm totally not affiliated by any means. I did not do the soundtrack, although, man, I would give my left eyeball to uh, be in a project like that. <clears throat> One thing that I don't think I've mentioned to many people in my life is that I, well, some people know that I am very attracted to old school 8-bit video game music, 16-bit, the whole MIDI thing, and at some point in my life I would like to write the soundtrack for a video game, like an old school video game. I would even like to just create the entire game itself from scratch, but that's a little too ambitious, you know? Okay, so what do we have going on here? Um, I'm spelunking. <laughs> I am inside a cave right now, and uh, the cool thing about this game is that every level is procedurally generated, so even though you might encounter a few, uh, a few archetypical situations, everything is going to be unique to some degree. There's going to be a different amount of gold in each level, a different layout. Right now I'm holding my dude, he's a, he's what you might call a damsel. This game does not discriminate when it comes to damsels. Whoops, my damsel just fell. Thank goodness he's still alive. Um, so you can have a female damsel, a male damsel, you can also be working with a pug, even a sloth. There's something for everyone, for all manner of sexual curiosities. So because I saved the damsel, he's going to be waiting for me at the end of the level, and he's going to give me a smooch, which is going to increase my health. So that was World 1-1. We are well on our way to Spelunky Victory. You gotta be careful with these arrow traps. And with the bats. What you guys can't see is my new kitten, uh, who I've hopefully introduced in another video before this. And he really likes to stand in front of the screen, and I can't always tell what's going on. So, this gigantic spider here is what my roommates and I like to call the bucking bronco. You can ride on his back a little bit as he bucks around, but I don't recommend it. I don't, <laughs> I don't recommend riding on anybody's back. Alright, so I'm having a blessed run here because look at this shop. There's a lot to say about the shopkeepers and the shops in general, but I'm not going to get into all that right now. Basically, I'm going to buy his stuff. I bought a jetpack. I need a little more money to get while the getting's good. <laughs> I really want those green gloves, the Hulk hands. They will allow me to climb wherever I see fit. Oh, okay. I get to show you guys another favorite element of mine. So I've got this damsel, as you can see. Uh, got a lady damsel this time. I really like to mix it up. I don't want to get... I don't want to have a damsel monoculture. <laughs> Alright, so if I bring my damsel up here to the goddess Kali, I can sacrifice her for an item. And that's beautiful, because I feel like, as far as video games go, human sacrifice hasn't really been an element in the past, I don't know, decade or so? And I really think we should bring it back. 
All right, so I've got some gloves and luckily I don't have to buy a compass because I just got a compass from sacrificing. Oh goodness, he's just gonna keep playing over there, isn't he? World three. Grabbing my damsel and then heading on out. Do you guys like spiders? I know some people are actually into spiders. Which weirds me out. I mean, I'm not deathly afraid of them, although I do have night terrors about them on occasion. <laughs> but in my waking life, I don't really fear them. Like, if a spider was standing in front of me, I would be fairly nonchalant. So I don't know what the deal is with that particular distinction. Like, why do I dream about them and flee in, in terror? Okay. We're gonna have some problems here if uh, my feline friend doesn't make a move. He's really cute though. The other day he like watched the character avatar wander to the right side of the screen and then disappear and he like wrapped around the TV <laughs> to see if the character was back there. It was very sweet. Suddenly this video is not about Spelunky anymore, it's about my cat. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm a happy father? Okay. So I'm being a little risky right now because I only have one bomb left and it's very, oh look at that. I was going to say it's very important to have bombs, you have to make some calculated maneuvers. Sometimes you drop one bomb seeing that there's an item box in the area you're trying to get to and sometimes it pays off, other times you get a crap item like, uh, like ropes. Okay. Buddy, I can't see. And we're in trouble here. Okay. It's fine. I'm so itchy. Something about being on camera just makes me so itchy. <laughs> Something about gaming just makes me so itchy. What's he doing? You can't do this. You're ruining Papa's gameplay. Be free. Or if you want to be me, be me. <laughs> All right. We are at it again. Another one. Man, I'm losing steam. I thought this would be. I thought I thought I would be the next PewDiePie, and now I'm just. I haven't even screamed yet. I gotta scream at the top of my lungs. I gotta really ham it up. Ah! I can't even do it. When I try, I just hit these beautiful, pristine, crystal clear notes. I'm like the next uh, Jeff Buckley. He's a he's a favorite of mine. So that's wishful thinking right there. So I have six bombs and I see two item boxes over here and I'm tempted to just drill the F down in here to see what's going on. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm doing it. Holy crap. What? Oh, that's a payoff right there. Although I don't actually know what was in the other box. In any case, I really needed this key, so I'm glad that I explored the level a little bit. The key is vital if you're trying to do a legendary run, which is the only kind of run I do anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, so because I did that, I've got something called the Ankh. It will show me where gems are embedded in these rocks, but it will also allow me later on in the game 
to find secret passageways, or one passageway in particular. Okay, so even though the game is procedurally generated, there are different worlds. So we have we have transitioned officially into the jungle from the mines. I really hate the jungle. There are no fun in games. I don't care what Axel Rose says. Okay. It's hard to explain why I hate it. There are just so many irksome little bastards, like little frogs, these guys with their boomerangs. I'm gonna get stomped if I'm not careful. Okay. Although, if you grab a boomerang, if you take a man by his boomerang, things happen. And by that I mean, it's pretty sweet to have a boomerang. <laughs> Who am I? Okay. I'm just gonna play until I die, and I hope that I don't die anytime soon. That'd be a shame, because this is the first time I'm trying to do this. And wouldn't it be badass if I just made it all the way to the secret final boss? Then you guys would have no motivation to ever play the game on your own or learn anything about it. And that would be a shame, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. All, all quiet on the best western front here. We are off to level two. I have a feeling this video is going to be a complete pain in the ass or one of the most entertaining videos I've ever edited. Only time will tell. And only a watch will tell time. I think I'm more clever when I'm distracted. It's really... <laughs> it's really hard to make a video when I actually have to look at the camera and pretend like I know things about <laughs> about things other than video games. <laughs> but, you know, we each have... We each have things we're good at, and it's also good to have uh, stretch goals. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, I almost died. So this is an idol, a golden idol, and he's worth quite a bit of cash. I will show you what happens if you grab it here in a minute. But first, I gotta stock up. Oh, shit. <laughs> amateur move. What is this? Amateur hour? The amateur club? Okay, so it's some freaking Indiana Jones stuff. You grab it, the floor falls out from beneath you. There are variations, like you get uh, one level where it has a Star Wars-like garbage compactor type of mechanic where the walls close in around you. Um, I'm gonna do a little, little exploring outside of, oh shoot, what's immediately around me because I'm looking for the door to the black market. Ugh. And if I miss it, I'm in big trouble. Iggy. Okay, so now we are in a spooky level with a lot of fog, a lot of jumping bone boys. I don't really know what they're called. And I haven't even looked at them closely to really, like, what is that? Some sort of ghoul? Alright, that clicking sound is my, um, item telling me here that I'm very close to the entrance to the black market. So I haven't missed it all as well. I just got the, uh, shotgun, which is located underneath the tombstone that says the word Ash on it. It's a reference to Pokemon, and by that I mean Evil Dead. Uh huh. Oh. It's somewhere over here.
All right. So I can't really get to the damsel here without crushing her. So I'm gonna... Oh, I killed her. I didn't mean to. I really thought that was gonna be okay. Maybe I should review the footage and see how wrong I was. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the crystal skull, get some some cash money, and we are heading out. Oh, by the way, there's a ghost. <laughs> if you linger too long, if you dilly dally in a level for too long, um, for longer than two minutes and thirty seconds, then a ghost will pursue you, and if it touches you, you're dead in one hit. But also, if you grab the uh, Crystal Skull, you get an additional ghost. So, that was the first of two. And I'm glad I got out of there when I did. Okay, the Black Market. So, you got tons of items. Although, this one's pretty crappy. I might actually make it through here without doing anything terrible. Oh. <sighs> So, shit. So in this game, you can actually steal from the shops, but I generally prefer not to because then you anger the shopkeepers and they constantly pursue you for the rest of the game. They're always waiting for you. Um, oh gosh. Oh my. F <laughs> me. All right, well guys, that was Spelunky. Maybe I'll do this again. Please tell me if it did anything for you to hear me just narrate my mundane actions. Do you like watching your friends play video games? Do you not have any friends, but in theory like doing that? I would like to play a few more video games here, especially Spelunky. I'm actually pretty good, I swear. And I want to show that off because you only live once and you only YouTube once. So, yo yo. Alright, I think I'm out of here. Um, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Bye guys.